Like I said, I don't recommend the snap-ons. This particular machine costs right around $10,000, and there are cheaper ones out there in the market. Here's one that's made by Treon. This one here is made specifically just for golf equipment. Um, it has arms just like this one does that stick out. It's a little bit easier to slide these around. This machine's a lot easier to slide around. This one's not bolted to the floor. If I wanted to move it around the shop, I could. This particular one we have bolted to the floor. If I want to move it, I have to physically unbolt it, drill all new holes. It's a pretty, pretty extensive thing trying to move it. This one here is a rotary. Rotary's been around for a very long time. Theirs is very similar. It's very easy to move their little forks. They have a tray in the back. Um, they have an overhead hoist. All of these machines, if you're going to put it in a shop, you have to consider what the height of your ceiling is. If you have a really tall ceiling, it'll fit. If you have a real short ceiling, like an eight-foot ceiling, it won't fit in there. You have to have, this machine needs a 14-foot ceiling in order to be in this shop. So that makes a big difference. The one that I like the most is called a golf lift. This is the one that um, I found the most amount of benefits to. What I don't like about this one here, not only are the arms kind of poorly made, but it's a safety hazard. If I move this thing up a little bit higher, this particular arm hits me right in the forehead. And so when I walk up, it's a safety hazard. If I step back, I run into it. And so you've got this contraption that sits out here that if it's on the floor, you can trip on. If it's up in the air, you turn and you can hit it with your head. We usually hang rags from here so that it hangs down and you, and you can see it. And we don't have it now, but we probably should reattach them. The golf lift, instead of having all these attachments sticking out, it's more like your arm. What it has is a pivot point, like where your elbow is, and a pivot point where my hand is, and the fork that sits under this tire actually is attached. So when, I, when I, I'm not using it, I put the fork straight out. I back my machine in, and then I can actually pivot it and put it in, and I don't have this arm sticking out over here. And so that's a tremendous benefit to me. It's a big safety issue. I'm not hitting myself. I'm not tripping over this, and that, that's a big concern to me. The other big difference is the price. These three lifts that I showed you here basically are priced between $5,000 and $7,000. So they're much cheaper than this, plus they're easier to deal with, easier to work with, and they don't have the safety hazard that's here. So those are some of the things that I like about this one. The golf lift also doesn't have an overhead bar. So if you have a problem with a shop with a low ceiling, when you lift this one up, instead of having a bar that lifts up into the ceiling, you're limited only by how tall your piece of equipment is. If your equipment is not very tall, you can lift this pretty high before you actually hit the ceiling. The bottom bar, all of your hydraulics and, and any kind of cable runs to the floor. You can actually dig a trench in your concrete and actually put that so you have a nice, even, flat surface to drive into, and you're not driving over anything. And so it's real easy to get onto and off of this lift, and you don't have to worry about anything on the overhead on top of you. As far as attachments, the hefty lift that we looked at had a lot of different types of attachments that were available for it. You could put a lot of different pieces. This particular one doesn't have that many attachments, and neither does some of the other ones. There's a few attachments. They have one that clamps onto this arm that you can take a, a walking green mower, bolt it on there, lift it up, and you can actually rotate the, the walking green mower around in a circle. And so you can flip it over, work on the cutting unit, and flip it back. Uh, so they have a, a, attachments for that and a couple of different cutting units. But other than that, there's not that many attachments. Mostly, it's in the arm. Because you can move the forks forward and back and slide them in, you can put a lot of variety of equipment as far as variety of wheels. Because there's a tray in the back, it doesn't matter if you have a single wheel or double wheels or how wide they are. They don't have to be the same width as the front because you just drive it up on the rear tray and then the front forks, you just adjust it and stick it in. The advantage of this with the forks is complete access to the underneath side of this machine. As you can see, when I rolled underneath there, I can, I can roll under there and I have complete access. There's nothing 
blocking me. It's not like a tabletop where a tabletop lifts the machine up in the air, but I still have to um, climb in on top of the table and get there. This one, there's nothing underneath this to block me. Comes when, it, when it's time to service this machine, I also have another big advantage. Instead of having this machine down on the floor and trying to take a bunch of little oil pans when it comes time to change the oil and you fill a pan and you're trying to slide it out, put a new one in and you're jockeying all these little pans and then you have to pick the pans up and take them over to the waste oil barrel and you tend to spill them and all that. What we can do with this machine is we have this oil caddy. We can roll this machine under here, lift it up. We have a 25 gallon hydraulic reservoir or uh, actually it's a 15 gallon reservoir on this machine. This caddy will hold 25 gallons. And so I can pull the plug, drain this whole thing when I'm done. I simply lower it back down, roll it over to my waste oil barrel. I can hook shop air to it and pump all the oil right into my waste oil barrel. I don't have to worry about carrying anything. I don't have to worry about spilling it. I don't have to try to move things around. And the nice thing is I can physically stand up that whole time. I can be under here working without laying on my back, without getting up and going down and getting up and going down, which wears you out. Those are the kind of things that make your technician slow, it makes him tired, and so he's not as productive. And production is time and time is money. And so everything is about money these days. So we can do that. I can take the same oil caddy, roll it to the back. I can drain my engine oil. I can drain my hydraulic oil. I can drain any kind of oils that I want simply by moving this thing around. And so, big advantage when it comes time to service. Uh, there's some grease fittings that are up underneath here. Usually they do not get greased because it's too hard to get to. And so with it up in the air, it's real simple to do your service, your maintenance, your routine uh, checks and adjustments.